Wood spoil leach by yeast. There are two types of yeast. Firstly, true yeast. It metabolizes sugar, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide gas in the process of fermentation. The second type is false yeast. It grows as a dry foam on food surface, which occurs in foods with high sugar level or acidic environment. The criteria of foods or beverages which are susceptible to yeast spoilage they have a low pH of 5.0 or lower, which restricts the growth of competing bacteria. Secondly, it has high sugar and organic acid content. It also has a water activity of 0.75 to 0.99. And lastly, it contains an inorganic nitrogen salt. Yeast only play a minor role in food spoilage compared to bacteria and molds. So what defines a spoilage yeast? A spoilage yeast are responsible for undesirable changes to the flavor, aroma, and taste of the final products. Some of the examples of products which are susceptible to yeast spoilage are fresh and processed fruits, for example, banana, apples, and others. They have high moisture content and water activity. The next example is fruit juices and soft drinks. Fruit juices are high in nitrogenous compounds and vitamins compared to soft drinks and therefore it is more susceptible towards yeast spoilage. The third example is vegetables. For example, tomatoes. Increased incidence due to storage or packaging in plastics as well as minimal processing. Spoilage of food are most frequently caused by Saccharomyces cerevisiae. And lastly, in beer and wine. are caused by wild yeast. These kinds of yeast are unwanted yeast that enter into beer during the fermentation process. Some of the common spoilage yeast in bottled wine are Acervisier, C. vinai, and C. rugosa. Some preventive steps against yeast spoilage are Firstly, by chemical preservation. Chemical preservation is the addition of sulfur dioxide, benzoic acid, or acetic acid. Next, by pasteurization. Thirdly, by the method of freezing. By lowering of water activity, as well as irradiation, for example, gamma ray or UV rays.